Hello everyone. Here is another problem where pyridinium anoxide is treated with acetic anhydride to give compound A, which is then under which underwent a series of reaction to give compound B. Okay, so let's just see how to go about doing this particular problem. Now, when we have these anoxides. And they are treated with acetic anhydride. So acetic anhydride, this is acetic anhydride. So this oxygen, it comes, it attacks. This bond moves. When it comes back, it releases the acetate ion. Okay. So we have this minus. This is the leaving group. So we have this particular reaction. Now the acetate ion that has been released, it acts as a base to abstract this proton. This bond comes here and this bond comes here. And this is the objects here. Okay, 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 got it, 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 so yeah, this is right. Okay, let's start from the beginning. <clears throat> Hello everyone, here's another problem uh, which involves the reaction of pyridinium anoxides with acetic anhydride to give compound A and then it undergoes a series of reactions to give compound B. So let's look at what are the reaction, reacting species that are involved in this particular reaction. So as we can clearly see we have a negative charge on oxygen means it can act as a nucleophile and if there is an electrophilic species involved it can attack onto that. Since we have an acetic anhydride which is reacting with an oxide so what can happen here the negative charge can attack this carbonyl carbon this bond moves once this bond comes back this acetate ion is released from the reaction so acetate ion is released so the product that we get is this one O acetate Okay, so this is the product that we get now. This acetate ion now, what it does, it acts as a base and abstract this proton. So this bond moves here and the positive charge on nitrogen is released. So we get this particular species, this alkyne. Now the stage is perfectly set for this species to undergo 3-3 sigma topic rearrangement. How? We have 1, 2, 3 atom and 1, 2, 3 atom here. And since this bond will break and this reaction involves the migration of sigma bonds. So here, okay, so what we get is. Okay, 
so this is the product of this particular reaction that is compound a this is compound a now compound a when subjected to treatment with mcpb and we are very much aware the reagent like reagents like mcpb they are very well known for epoxidations and oxidation reaction so what it does and these pyridines have these lone pair of nitrogens and they are very prone to undergo oxidation and form anoxide compounds so this is exactly what happens when this pyridine pyridine is treated with mcpba in step 1 here okay it leads to the formation of this anoxide once again so we get this anoxide and here i can write it as o acetate okay and now the same sequence of event is repeated if i can simply write it as acetic anhydride 100 degrees what we get is o acetate and then we have this one and then exactly what happens the acetate ion removes this acetate this one comes here and this is released keep forgetting putting this methyl group sorry in fact now the removal of this uh, this negative charge is you know even facile because we have an acetate group here now again we can clearly see in acetic anhydride now again we are heating it once we are heating it to 100 degrees these species is forming again it is undergoing 3 3 sigma topic rearrangement and it is giving rise to this diacetate product now we are very much aware of the fact that esters can be easily hydrolyzed using NaOH as a base so this is exactly what happens in the last step when we use NaOH what it does it simply hydrolyzes these acetates so what we get end up getting is the hydrate of aldehyde and if we can simply remove the water from here then we can have one aldehyde group at this position so this is compound b so this is the sequence of event how this compound b is formed okay so if you want me to cover any particular topics then please write it to me on allochemistry@gmail.com thank you very much